What's happening, good people? Welcome to another freaking vlog. Holy crap, another work weekend finally over with and done. Done and down. Um, huh. Boy, oh boy, have I had a fucking hell of a weekend. And I'll tell you right now, it semi came to a head today. Had a very long conversation, and for lack of a better term, someone at work. Things came out, and for all of the lack of a better term, because I can't speak English right now, I'm essentially done walking on eggshells. That's right. I'm not going to say we had it out, because uh, that would be, or that, would, that wouldn't be the truth, to be honest with you. It wasn't that we had it out, but a lot of things were said. A lot of things were spoken about. Um, I'm still trying to debate on whether I want to kind of relay the conversation here with you guys, to be really honest. Uh, it's just, huh. I'll say this much, there's little to no result in what I'm experiencing at work in regards to the toxicity and uh, the belittling and the bullying and all that jazz. There is a, I guess a solution in progress, if you will. I'll say that much, a solution in progress, and honestly, we'll see if that works, because I'm at the point where if it doesn't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go above and beyond where my chain of command is, and they're not going to like it, and quite frankly, I'm not going to care, because I've been dealing with this for far too long, and I, 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 I don't know, I honestly don't know. And you know what's, and you know what, let me, let me say something really quick. Um, I find it hilarious that me and this other individual with essentially uh, a leader kind of mediating, if you will, expressing certain things, and the only thing this person can attack me with legitimately is an event that happened way in the past that has not only been put to rest, damn near buried. There's no longer even remotely an issue, but that's the only thing this person can attack me with so that they can seem like they're in the right. You know what I mean? Like this person is correct and you know, I'm the bad guy, I'm the villain, I'm the Disney villain, if you will, um, but they're in the right, even though that's the person that is essentially has created the issues. So anyway, um, I need to get dinner because I'm starving like Marvin. Uh, he's already had dinner. I think he's going to eat some more. Kid is running around like crazy as usual. You know, these incense sticks are extremely relaxing. Whew. Okay, here we are again. This kid is driving me nuts. Straight up. He is so again, I've said this before, I have a hardwood floor and I have no area rug because I threw it away because he made a mess of it. And he doesn't know how to just lay down, take his bone, chew on it, hold on it. I mean, he does. Okay, let me, hold on. He does, but he has times where he'll sit there like smell it and you know, do this with it, but push it with his nose and whatnot to such an extent where it gets under the couch, under the bookshelf, under over there, all over the place. Heck, even right under there. And it gets on my last nerve because I gotta get up and get to it before he decides, oh, I'm gonna try to force my way in and dig through, and then he starts messing stuff up. It's just, ugh. Um, something I s spoke on earlier when I got back, um, Okay, so straight up, I have, I have said enough, um, without giving away too much detail because I am attempting to be respectful, I guess is the word I'm looking for, uh, is the, is the, is what I'm trying to go for, I'm trying to be, uh, respectful, uh, while essentially exercising 
what I think and what I know I am I'm able to do, which is be able to speak on certain things that I can speak on because, well, frankly, this is my channel, this is my vlog, and I can talk about damn near whatever I want as long as I stay within certain guidelines, as long as I stay within um, uh, my left and right limits, if you will. Stop it. So, my dog. Um, and that that's what I'm doing. That's essentially what I'm uh, I'm doing. And it's just, you know, certain things, they get on my last nerve and I got to talk about it, you know? And uh, one other point. Um, hey, get, stop this kid, I swear to goodness. Um, apparently, it's been brought to my attention that maybe I'm angry or profanity and I curse too much. Um, yes and yes. Yes and yes. Uh, here's the thing, and I told my buddy this, uh, and, and I'm honestly attempting it. I am trying to curb uh, the profanity and the cursing because I don't want that to slip out when I'm around my chitlins, none of my kids. I don't want them to hear me do that because it, when it comes out, it just it, it just it just comes out. It just comes out. I can't I can't really snap with this hand, but it just stop it. It just comes out out of the blue, out of nowhere, and it's hard to control it sometimes. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible. Uh, I'm not saying it's not a choice. It is a choice. Uh, it's just you know sometimes it just slips out. You know you know how it is. Um, am I an angry individual? A lot of times I am. Matter of fact, uh, um, one of my leaders brought this up today, and uh, it's well, it's essentially true. Stop. Um, there is a lot of pain that is kind of at the forefront of my mind and who I am and everything like that. That, to be honest with you, is not a choice. Uh, and I talked about, I t kind of talked about this with a buddy of mine a little bit. Uh, we had a short conversation about it. Uh, that pain is essentially a part of me. There's nothing I can do about it. Literally, there's nothing I can do about it. There is no therapy. There's no psychotherapy, aromatherapy, regular psycho. There's no hypnotherapy, nothing. There's nothing that can get rid of that. It, it, that shit is so deep. It's a part of my DNA. Now... Can I work through it? Yes, I can. Um, it takes work, hard work, gotta work harder. It takes practice. Um, and it takes, a, honestly, it takes a lot of me, you know, stumbling and falling and getting back up and keep on going. And that's essentially what I have been doing, is trying to work through a lot of this pain that is essentially a part of me and a part of who I am. I can't help that, you know, I, it was, it was put into me, it was shoved into me, it was punched into me, it was slapped into me, it, it was placed into me at such a young age, and it has done nothing but fester and grow shush to such an extent where it's a part of my being it's a part of my dna um does that make me unfit as a parent a dad a human being a soldier i i don't know i'd be honest i'll be very honest uh, i don't know uh, i i try to work on things as much as i possibly can as a person um I have people telling me, oh, you have potential. Okay, I guess I do. Uh, I have certain family members telling me, you know, not to call myself a failure. I can appreciate that. I appreciate that sentiment. Um, I know the truth of, of things. I know the truth of myself. There are parts of me that I can't help to say, yeah, you're a fucking failure. Um, and see, there it is. I, I can't help but curse. It's it's. It is what it is, plain and simple. Yes, I know it's a choice, but sometimes, you, you know, you can't help but be who you are, plain and simple, you know? You can improve, yes, 
you can definitely improve. There's nothing wrong with that. But look, I'm gonna try the curb, the cursing. I, I will try the curb, the, the profanity and all that jazz. Uh, I make no Dagon promises whatsoever, you know. I'll do what I can, plain and simple. This dog, it's like he wants to cuddle me, then he wants to walk away, then cuddle and walk away. This kid, man, I swear to goodness. Hey, stop it. Look at him. Touch. Back up. Hey, sit. Nope, come here. Sit. There he is. Literally, he's gotten thick. You know I don't want you on the couch, bro. This kid is on some other ish right now. You guys don't want to be that close to ugly. Okay, so it is a tad bit late. I'm going to take my ass to bed while he's over here chewing on bones. Because, well, yeah. Them things are getting locked up in there. So when he sleeps, I don't have to have him chewing on the bone in the middle of the night. Because believe me, while I'm sleeping, him chewing on that will actually, factually bother me and wake me up. Yeah, that sound, that loud snapping sound you might have just heard, that's him popping a piece of it off. So, yeah, that being said, I'm going to take my ass to bed. Um, yeah, that was essentially my weekend. And uh, I don't know. It is what it is. We'll see if this, uh, again, I call it a working solution. Uh, we'll see if it works. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, don't want to end the vlog on a negative note. So on a positive note, I'm still at like 206. So actually, I gained a subscriber. So now I'm at 206 subscribers. Yay! So that's good. Um, I'm going to be. Figuring out a, a decent balance betwixt my Instagram and my YouTube. To, so you guys make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, my Instagram is at like 5,000 followers. So if you'd like to follow, look at some of my uh, pictures and all that jazz. A little bit, a, another side of me, if you will. And you can follow at uh, Izzy0884. Boom sauce. So... Follow that, and uh, yeah, that's free, obviously. So is this, obviously, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know. I, that's it's really all I got for the day, the weekend, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Out of here.